Hey there, Brewberries, what's up? And welcome to a world tour video of Bruin Build Season 1. That is right, many of you, I put a poll out, and pretty much like 90% of you said you wanted to have a world tour. And so I am here to give it to you. Now I'm going to try and do this in a little bit of a different manner than a lot of world tours. Generally, people just do it in one, one take. Um, what I'm going to do is I personally don't like watching like hour and a half world tour videos. So I'm going to break it up and do these, um, try and do like five videos that will just air Monday through Friday of this week um, or whenever I release just like five days straight in a row. And we'll be doing towns individually um, or I may lump a few together if they're close by, um, but we'll be doing them more individually to be able to then like you don't have to feel like you have to like watch an hour and a half long video because I know not many people do. So it's just if you want to see the world, you can do it in snippets and then I'll make a playlist as well if you want to see it all in one go. Um, but that's how we're going to approach it. Now, the town we're in currently is our starting town, the Hobbit town of Moore. And this is where we began our journey on YouTube and just in Minecraft in general. This world is actually the first world that I have uh, ever really stuck around and built for a long time in. I have prior to this, I probably stayed in one world for maybe 15 days and that was it. And this one we went on like two and a half years. And so that I think is pretty insane. Uh, it's a huge jump. And I think the YouTube aspect of it really just made it far more impactful for me. And so I, I feel like it was a a really, really cool thing. And this is like th this this world in particular and this town really holds a lot of meaning to me because it, it's like it's just where we started. And I think it's really cool. Now we have to begin the tour off right here. This is like the starting house that we made and it is good now there's some textures that are a little different like you can see some of the glass textures have changed some of the dirt and stuff some of the wood all of, there's some texture changes over time that we've made that doesn't necessarily fit uh with how we did the build and stuff but overall things should look relatively decent this is our starting house it's very quaint very uh simple um, and not really too much in here. The whole theme of this was hobbits and this town, you know, we usually try and put some lore and stuff. There's not honestly a ton of lore. This is before I really got into wanting to do the lore aspect of things. Um, and so, uh, it's, it's not nearly as lore focused, but it's still a really cool town. I really love it. One thing to note is I am going to be putting the coordinates of each location at the very beginning on the top of the screen. Um, just for any of you who are wanting to get this world, I'll be putting also a download uh, of the world in my Discord. Um, and so that is where you'll be able to get it. You'll have to join the Discord and then there'll be a channel there that you will be able to get access to. And so for any of you who do download it and want to explore it, definitely at least watch the beginning of the videos to see the coordinates because all of the nether linking tunnels and stuff that we had got deleted in the nether update. Um, and so not all these locations that we'll be visiting, you kind of have to like at least know where the locations are um, to be able to fly around. There's a teleportation system in this world with the Colas Gate system that we made, but uh, not all of them are accessible there. So what I want to do is just explore around and uh, look at some of the previous builds. And I don't really want to go through and like look at every single build. I don't think that's necessary, but I do want to highlight some that I think are really impactful. This build in particular, this is probably one of my favorite builds just because of the impact it had on the channel and my sort of mojo for doing uh, YouTube. Um, this is a water wheel um, and it is like the first video that got over 100 views on my channel. And that doesn't seem like much, but at the time I was getting like 20 or 30. And then I did this and was getting like 100 to 200. And it was just like super crazy. And I I was just like so blown away at how many people are actually viewing this. And so it was super, super cool. I actually really like the build. I really think it's pretty cool. Um, I tried to experiment with the Hobbit style and make it so that we had some buildings that were like in the ground Hobbit houses and some, as you can see, that have like the dirt roof stuff going on, but they are not like actually like in a mountainside or in a hillside or anything. And this uh, is an interesting one, too, because it's got a fully done interior where 
it's got like this full mechanical thing uh, and gears and stuff to like show wheat and stuff being ground up. And it's not entirely complete and stuff, but this is also where our wheat farm was. There used to be like a, just a light driven wheat farm. Um, and I think it's super cool. I really love it. This also, this area here is probably one of my favorite uh, landscaping things that we've done. Um, it's a, just a, like a marshland, but it was like a super interesting thing to try and get into. And this is where we did our first real big texture overhaul of doing the soul sand. Um, we had done a few textures prior to that, but nothing nearly as uh, in-depth as this. Like this was a full texture creation. So it was a really cool time. And I think it really makes a really cool statement of this like marshy river going through here. It really sells the swamp aspect. And we were expanding. We made like a cool little well. And there's some like older looking things like this is supposed to feel a little bit out of place and a little bit like there is an older village or something. There's a few builds like that in this area. There's the bell tower over there as well um but this whole town is supposed to feel kind of it's swampy but it's supposed to be like a magical swamp not like a, a gross nasty swamp it's supposed to feel more magical and pleasant and so that's why there's so many flowers mushrooms and big trees and stuff um and then this is a cool style that i i i tried to make it so that we didn't we've got the these the hobbit houses that are like built in there to the uh, side of the mountain but we also have these, which are smaller versions that are actually like just bringing the hill into like bringing up the dirt and putting the roof as the dirt, but not everything having to be. But not it's like a middle ground between that and a regular Hobbit house. I thought it was a really fun aspect. Not all of them have interiors done. This one does. It's very small, very quaint, a little bit of a fireplace. Overall, it's very good. There's hardly any interiors done in this entire world, so uh, if you are in it for interior design, then uh, this is, well, one, probably not the correct channel because I just don't ever get around to the interiors, but uh, I, it's something I'm trying to do. But the village expands out this way. There was a going to be a graveyard here. Eh, never got around to putting tombstones and stuff. You guys can do that if you want. But this was like the the biggest time that I was trying to figure out how to do town planning and do it properly and it's interesting it's uh this this village is really all about learning and figuring out how to do youtube and also how to do this whole like bigger build concept i've never really done anything prior to this um that was like all about build bigger builds and stuff and of course we're coming up here to the dock area and this was a really big expansion that we did that took uh i did the initial dock uh like, like stick out bits in this whole ground area here did all of that first um and then we came back through a couple well probably like a hundred some a hundred episodes later or something and did the barges that are sitting here um later on just to give us a break from the steampunk city i believe um but this was a, a big expansion that we did and uh it was a really interesting thing i wanted to have some like houses up top but then have some like more storage based things we needed a warehouse to store things and so this is where the warehouse came in to be and you'll notice the world this world has to be fairly decently old just because of the fact that we've got chests next to trap chests because that was the only way at the time to be able to put chests next to each other uh, now we've got it really great where we can just have chests next to each other but we had to do the trap chest thing um, prior because the world is before that time and uh, now that kind of looks a little funny with our coffin texture but eh, i can get over it this was a really fun build i really enjoyed it most all of this is non-spawnable i tried to make it as possible as being non-spawnable and uh it was fairly effective there was a creeper that did potentially blow things up um but that's a nothing that we have to worry about now and i really love just this area this is really cool also these llamas are from that mountain range so these llamas are exactly as old as the uh build used to be but i really love the look of this i think this is probably one of my favorite dock areas just because it has so many cool little boats the barge design i think is really cool and so they're just like fun little ships using scaffolding to make it a little bit more interesting and yeah, I think it's really cool. Then of course we got the crane and then we got this big barge um, and there's just some really fun aspects to it. I just love, I love the crane design. I don't think this is an original design by me. I, I forget if I used a tutorial or not, um, but I really love the crane design with the color palette and the block choices that we used. 
Um, but then, yeah, after we did this, we expanded, we made the town hall, which is this building. We'll go in there in just a second. And then we expanded and there used to be a hill that actually kind of matched this uh, grade that goes all the way up onto the town hall. Um, there used to be a hill that actually like matched that. And so we made it into a pathway that was supposed to eventually like walk up. There were going to be houses and not houses, but like bigger shops and taverns and things here. Um, never got around to building up this section but we did get to making the wall, at least half of it. And uh, so there's a connection piece up there onto the wall and it connects up all the way back to those houses that are over there. But here's the clock tower. It's quite an interesting little bit, little build. It sticks, it doesn't really fit with the build style, but that's kind of the purpose of it. The whole point of it was that it's like supposed to be something that maybe the, it was a civilization before and the hobbits were around here and kind of centered their builds around it um and i think it's overall a really cool build geez that sun is bright there we go um it's a it's a cool build i really do like it but uh, it definitely doesn't fit in with the style and i think we could have done more in the area to do a little bit more to just make it feel like it actually fits in um these actually so this is the market area that we we put underneath this walkway it's kind of like a floating walkway and then we have a market a market underneath it was a really fun idea at the time i think it works pretty effectively it makes for an interesting area uh these actually these empty stalls were supposed to be this was before the update aquatic and that was coming around pretty soon uh when we made this and so i made these specifically for all the different fish that you can we could be potentially selling I never got around to coming back and putting the fish in, but they're there. And then let's go into the town hall here. So pardon the floor being all diorite. We used to have a diorite texture that was a little bit more interesting. Uh, honestly, I've grown to be accustomed to this diorite texture, so it doesn't bug me nearly as, as much as it used to be. So the town hall is supposed to be the area where like the elders of the town would be able to convene and uh, they could come up here and I like, could give a little bit of a talk to the townsfolk who are interested. And back here is where they could kind of do that convening. So we made like a little bit of a a sort of council meeting room with a bunch of bookshelves and stuff, maybe some papers and stuff on the on the thing, a big old fireplace. I really like this build. I really think the, the new bookshelf texture also makes it so there's a little bit of variation. These used to be solid textures, so that's why we had some torches and stuff. Just need to change them out for like spruce or something. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. And this area over here is where you would buy land. And so we got a big map of our whole town and stuff. Uh, and you would come in here and you would buy some land in this area. And it's uh, just like a little bit of a library type thing. And speaking of library, over here on this side, we do have a little bit of a town library. And so you've got a little bit of an area up here and it looks pretty good. It's just like a small little itty bitty library in this cramped tiny place. I think it looks pretty nice. And probably one of the more interesting uh, house builds that we did. This is uh, probably one of the most hobbity feeling ones as well. Um, so the exterior looks pretty decent. And then I tried to definitely feel feel like it's uh, the slope of the actual hillside. I think it looks really nice. And this is our portal room. And so we've got a portal sticking out here. And so it's like there's like the nether kind of creeping out. And I think it looks really cool. Um, the nether portals don't connect. This is also where we did our enchanting and stuff. And so there used to be a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, there's a <laughs> bunch of wooden, wooden shovels because that was before we had the uh, grindstone. So we couldn't actually get things, uh, you know, unenchanted. And so uh, because of that, we have a whole bunch of shovels here. What I wanted to also show is if you come over here, bloop, there's this derpy little wooden area. Um, and what this is, is this goes down to where our first mine was. And it, we were going to originally do like a bridge or something over here and then go down into just like a little mining area. Um, the reason I want to show you this is because if we go into spectator and fly on down and we go on down here, we can find there you go down the stairway there and then you go down this little path here and there'll be a staircase right there. So you just follow kind of the cobblestone stairs. Oh, hey, Axolotl. Uh, we are in 117. Uh, this is a 117 world it, because the update didn't do anything to the terrain. I just updated it. And so you don't have to like backlog or anything. Uh, you can just go right into 117 but you come down here you kind of follow the torches and stuff uh, and then you get into 
this area you go down and because this is all because the portals uh, aren't linked i'm showing you this and you go right in here and this is our skeleton spawner and so this is a, a cool little skeleton spawner area where this is our first xp grinding farm they would go down into here and um, we made this whole non-spawnable area tons of bones and stuff just like supposed to be like a little magical wizard cave type thing a big enchanting setup and all that and a cool little bed and all that it's just very cool this is the issue though i have with glass textures right now this used to look really cool because it didn't have these dark borders uh, now we can't do stuff like this and so i'm really really debating and thinking i'm going to modify all these stained glasses to be back to more like this to where it's either entirely clear and no border or it, it does have a border it's just not quite as strong of a border and so i'm, I'm kind of debating on that Ooh, what's in here oh all sorts of stuff i forget what's in there so you now you know a little bit of how to get there just because you can't get there via the nether portal so sorry about that but the nether update did cause some problems and so that is the town of more our starting town very it's a pretty complete place it's uh definitely got some incomplete stuff it definitely the plan was much bigger than this but overall i think we did a really good job there's even some landscaping stuff going on out here with like the marshlands and stuff that just didn't want to show all by itself and i'm really pleased with how this area looks i think it's a really cool it's a very good starting area i gotta say i think it's a really cool starting area um, and so this is the town of Moore, and uh, now we'll be jumping into the other towns, but that's going to do it for this particular world tour video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts on this more broken down world tour style. I think it's going to be good. Uh, and now let's just do a, a little bit of like a cinematic overview, I think, and then we'll call it for today. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next tour video.